Scientific notation is a way to write really large or really small numbers so they're easier to read. So we have an example here, 4.30 times 10 to the positive fifth. This part of the number, the 4.30, is called the coefficient. The coefficient has to be between 1 and 10. An easy way to look at it is there can only be one number in front of that decimal place. This right here, the 5, is your exponent. It's how many times you're multiplying that number by 10, or how many times you have to move the decimal. So let's look at this example here. We have a really large number, and there's no decimal written in it. So we know that means that the decimal is right here. And let's count how many times we have to move it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to get it so there's just one number in front of the decimal. When we're doing scientific notation, we can't drop anything but zeros. So we say 6.072 times 10, and we know it's going to be 8, but we have to say if it's positive 8 or negative 8. And some people remember if you move the decimal to the left, it's positive. If you move the decimal to the right, it's negative. I find it a lot easier to remember that a really large number has a positive exponent. And a really small number has a negative exponent. That is personally much easier for me because that works if you're putting it into scientific notation or if you're taking it out. But if you remember that to the left is positive, then you have to take it to the right to get it out of scientific notation. So we have 6.072 times 10 to the positive 8th. And let's look at a really small number. Again, we're going to move the decimal. This time it's shown, so we start from where the decimal is shown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 4.501 times 10, and it's going to be the negative fifth because it's a small number, or because we moved to the right. You also have to be able to take numbers out of scientific notation, so let's do two examples like that. First, we look at the exponent. This one's negative, so you know that that's going to be a small number. And we're going to move the decimal six times to the left to make it a small number. So we have five, four, so moving the decimal once, twice, three times, four times, five, and then six. And now we just fill in our, des our zeros. You don't have to actually draw these little half circles where you move the decimal. It's just easier for me to show you while drawing them. So in our last example, we have 9.1 times 10 to the fourth. Because that's a positive exponent, we know that this is going to be a large number. And we're going to move the decimal to the right. So we have 9, 1, and we're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So hopefully this review of scientific notation will help you out.